Huh? What? What? Wait, where am I? Huh? Oh my god! Is that my body? Huh? Man, I let myself way too much go. Oh! Uh, I don't understand uh, why is my body there and I'm sitting right there to see. Oh well, I guess I'm stuck here as immortal. But what should I do for this game of the episode while I'm sitting there like a hobo? Hobo Dan, that what I should call myself now on. Oh well, at least I will do something. But what should I do while I'm sitting there? I got it. top 8 Batman games. Oh man, I just love myself. I'm so creative. Now welcome back to a new Game Nerd episode and today's episode we're going to do the top 8 Batman games. So let's begin with Number 8 Batman Forever is a Super Nintendo slash Sega Genesis release game where it is like a copy of Mortal Kombat. In fact it's a side shower Mortal Kombat game with Batman and for some reason I like this game. In fact, it's actually a guilty pleasure. Now I don't own the Sega Saturn version because it has too much money for it. And I'm going to pick up those dollars. Number 7 Lego Batman. Now, uh, for some reason I always loved this game as a kid. Not that much as another Wii game that I'm going to show later, but I just think that this is the best LEGO Batman game out of the trilogy. I just have tons of fun with it, and the DS release for the game is a bit different, but that is a really good game. If I ever do a versus battle between LEGO Batman and LEGO Batman for the DS and Wii, that might be a future Game Nerd episode. Probably they both might won. Number 6 Batman Arkham City. Now the Batman Arkham Asylum series are the best Batman games. It's dark yet wonderful. I just think that it's really good. But I kind of find Arkham City the best out of them because it is more open world. You explore in Gotham and Gotham has feelings all over the street. And overall, I just think that this is the best out of the four Batman Arkham games. Number 5 Lego Batman. Now, I talked about this game on my very first Game Nerd episode, but this game is really good, and I think it does it deserve some hate to it. Sure, it's not that good as the Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo, but I think this game does kick bat butts. And I just think that this game is fun. Number 4 Batman Brave and the Bold. Now, this game is what I call a hidden gem Batman game. This is really fun. I mean, a really fun beaten up slash sideshow game. And I think more people should get this game. And I think this is really fun. Recently, I replayed it a little, and I think the gameplay is pretty good and still holds up and I think this is the best Batman Brave in the Bull game. And again, it also got him released on the DS port which is also different and also might make a versus video. But I just think that the Batman games are really fun. Number 3 Batman Returns for the Super Nintendo. This is a really fun beat them up game and a really fun Batman game. If you have to pick only one Batman game for the 16-bit library, this probably be number one. And this is a really fun game. And I remember a long time back, 
I saw game footage to this game and uh, I was so entertained to it and I wicked loved Batman back then. In fact, I love Batman today and Superman sucks pie sap. Number 2 Batman Return of the Joker is a really fun uh, Batman game. In fact, Batman has a gun in this game and I think this is a really fun uh, Batman game. This game pushed the limits so hard that GameSack thought that this game was a 16-bit game on a 8-bit console. And that's pretty cool. And this game is a mixer of Mega Man and Batman into an awesome game. But this one game beats them all. And let's find out after this commercial break. Oh my god, what's up with you? You maybe you need a cliff bar. Watch this. It's a, just a cliff bar. Better? Uh, totally better. Now you guys are wondering what is number one and uh, this game beats them all because this is a really good Sunsoft game and one of the best NES games ever made and definitely one of my favorites and it is Batman for the NES. Now this game is a really fun game and it's really good and do I have to talk too much about the game? So that was the top 8 Batman games. Now, uh, that's not all the Batman games, but those are the main 8 games that I think everybody will think of uh, when it comes to the games of Batman. And yeah, and I wish I'm not. And there's a coma now. What? Wait, what? My body. It's being dragged away! I don't feel so well. Oh no. No, I'm dead. Oh no! 